So I'm taking a nice stroll this morning after a great dinner last night and fun in Nairambo. I'm taking a walk. And um, let me say that um, <laughs> this is one of the most stress-free environment I've ever been in, in a long time. I feel at home. I feel at peace. I feel safe. And look how clean the place is. Um, you know, we also went to Ribeira last night to look overlook in the, in the city. And just to see all of that light and that serenity, that peace. That peace where you don't hear any chaos in the midst of the night. We went to Nyarambo where the, the local team won their soccer match. And it was euphoria. Jubilation. Oh, it was nice. The air was electric. People were having fun. They were just having a great time. And um, there wasn't any level of insecurity. It, it, was, it was something I experienced as a little boy. I've never really experienced as an adult where you could be in an, in an environment where the economic level of most of the people are, you know, I would say, you know, not as affluent. You know, it's a, it's a poor part of town. But even though they were poor, there was a sense of community. There was a sense of belonging. There was social interaction, people eating together. Um, that's what we missed as a people. Those are the things that they don't show us in the West. You know, every time something happens in Africa, they always show you the chaotic part, the uncivilized part, the wild part. And this is why I'm so interested to show this part to let, you know, us in the diaspora know that there's another way. There's hope. You can live in Africa. The food we bought was highly affordable. It wasn't expensive. It was very affordable. And we all it. I have to take a break here. Um, Rwanda is a country of a thousand hills. And I am just trying to go up a mound and guys I'm exhausted, <laughs> I'm exhausted. So as you can see, I'm really out of shape, but everything is just fine. I'm enjoying it this morning, tired as hell, but man, I wouldn't trade this for the world right now. Beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, look at the children going to school. Look at them going to school. Hey, look at them going to school. You know, it's it's just it's just fun. I mean, When you take a look at the the girls and the boys, you realize that here it's cut low, and I really do admire that. Um, it creates a sense of uniformity. It kills ego, and what it also does, it creates a, um, an acceptance of everybody is equal. You know. It doesn't matter you have to come in with your big hairstyles or whatever. Now, look at this young girl coming. This is a girl. She's going to school. And... Her hair is cut low. And it is nice because it gives them a sense of being proud of who they are. Proud of how God has created them with their hair the way it is. And they don't have to spend a fortune trying to fit in a colonized uh, uh, um, a space. And that is good. That is just so good. You know? 
For some reason, I just love it. Now look at the kids going to school in their uniform. <laughs> this is actually my childhood. Uh, when we're going to school, I had to walk three miles, barefoot back and forth, but I wouldn't change it. And um, you know, this place reminds me of Jamaica in the 1970s. Well organized, people are just going about their business. There's a sense, there's a high level of safety and you know, a social understanding that don't steal, don't rob anybody, don't grab people's phone because the repercussion is serious. And this is nice. And um, let me say this, I've got to tip my hat off again to the leadership of this country. Man, I would just hope my native country would at least have 50% of what this country accomplished in just 28 years. And let me say to you, for what I see, there's a whole lot more coming. And boy, let me be biased. I definitely want a piece of this because here's a place that's going somewhere, somewhere very good, very good. Yeah, and I'm gonna throw my wife under the bus this morning. Well, I tapped her, I said, let's go for a walk. Hey baby, go by yourself, I'm tired. We had a great meal last night. But then she got lethargic and comfort takes place. But hey, you know me folks, I gotta get out there and make it happen. So I'm just here walking, man. And <laughs> Now let me pause for a moment and let you soak up order, discipline, structure, peace, and tranquility. And as usual, don't speed in Rwanda. This is a speed camera right here. <laughs> 